Meet Louis Barrick Fall, a Senegalese light heavyweight boxer whose life was as electrifying as his punches. Born on September 16, 1897, in the vibrant port city of St. Louis, Siki's journey from a daring coin diver to a world champion boxer is a tale of courage and spectacle. From 1912 to 1925, he fought with a fierce spirit, and for a brief, shining moment, he reigned as the world light heavyweight champion after delivering a stunning knockout to Georges Carpentier. Siki's story is a captivating blend of audacity, triumph, and tragedy that left an unforgettable mark on the world of boxing. This man was famously known as Battling Siki. In the bustling port city of St. Louis in French Senegal, young Siki had a flair for adventure. As a teenager, he thrilled spectators by diving off cliffs to fetch coins tossed into the sea by French sailors. One day, his audacious character caught the eye of a Dutch dancer, who offered to take him to Europe. At just 14, Siki stepped into the boxing ring, ready to fight his way to the top. His early bouts were tough, with a modest record of eight wins, six losses, and two draws from 1912 to 1914. But Siki's true grit excelled when World War I broke out. He then joined the French Army's 8th Colonial Infantry Regiment. He proved his bravery on the battlefield. His courage earned him the Croix de Guerre and the Medaille Militaire before he was honorably discharged. Siki's journey from coin diver to decorated war hero was just the beginning of an extraordinary tale. On July 23rd, Siki married Lillian Werner, an artist from Memphis, Tennessee, in a civil ceremony. Werner, who was white and seven years older than Siki, made their marriage a rare mixed-race union at the time. After leaving the military, Siki jumped back into the boxing ring. In late 1920, he fought two matches in Amsterdam's concert gay bow. He also found love with a Dutch woman, Leintje van Appeltier, who became his common-law wife. On December 16, 1921, they welcomed a son, Louis Jr. During this time, Siki also taught boxing at the amateur club De Younga Boxer, The Young Boxer. From November 1919 until he clashed with Georges Carpentier for the World Light Heavyweight Championship in 1922, Siki boasted an impressive record, 43 wins and 46 bouts, including 21 knockouts. Carpentier, a reigning champion, agreed to face Siki in Paris on September 24, 1922. In a dramatic turn, Siki, allegedly poised to dive, got back up after Carpentier knocked him down. In the sixth round, Siki unleashed a powerful uppercut that appeared to end Carpentier's night. The referee's controversial decision to call a foul on Siki sparked outrage. Fortunately, the ringside judges intervened, declaring Siki the rightful champion. After his triumph, Siki's victory led to a wild splurge of a flamboyant lifestyle, parading his pet lion down the champ Elysees in a top hat and tuxedo. He'd even fire his revolvers to entertain with his Great Danes. Often seen in nightclubs, dressed in flashy attire, Siki indulged in champagne and the company of white women, including his wives. Offers flooded in from the United States for Siki to fight top contenders like Harry Wills, middleweight champion Johnny Wilson, and the legendary Harry Greb. There were even attempts to match Siki with the reigning heavyweight champion, Jack Dempsey. Instead of pursuing other opportunities, Siki chose to defend his title against Irish light heavyweight Mike McTeague on St. Patrick's Day in Dublin. The fight ended in controversy, with Siki losing by decision and relinquishing his championship. This defeat marked the beginning of a decline for Siki, as his performances faltered and his lifestyle took a turn for the worse. After losing his European title on a foul, Siki headed to the United States, but his performance didn't improve. His time in the States saw a string of losses against top fighters, largely due to his lack of proper training. His record after winning the title was 11 wins, 7 KOs, 17 losses, 1 draw, and 2 no contests. He even suffered the only two knockout defeats of his career during this period. In the States, Siki's wild lifestyle continued. He trained on booze and street brawls, often getting drunk in speakeasies, refusing to pay his tab, and fighting his way out. On December 15, 1925, a policeman spotted Siki staggering drunk on 42nd Street in New York City. When questioned, Siki claimed he was heading home and then walked off. Later, he was found lying face down, shot twice in the back at close range. Siki was dead at 28. His funeral, held in Harlem, 
was led by Reverend Adam Clayton Powell, the father of the renowned civil rights leader. Initially buried in an unmarked grave at Flushing Cemetery, a brief ceremony was held there, attended by representatives from the Senegalese government and the African Boxing Union. A headstone was dedicated by the International Veterans Boxing Association. In 1993, Siki's body was finally returned to his homeland in Senegal.